The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has sent shockwaves across the world, including the United States. One of the most immediate and tangible impacts of this conflict is the rising price of oil, which could soon lead to empty gas stations across America. There's something that terrifies Americans even more than the thought of a zombie apocalypse or a deadly virus outbreak. It's the possibility of gas stations running out of fuel. Panic buying has caused gas shortages across the country. The impact of gasoline supply disruptions is felt throughout the economy as factories shut down, supply chains halt, and everyday goods become scarce. This is due to the complex interplay between global politics, economics, and energy markets, making Americans vulnerable to the shock of a gasoline shortage. Americans are obsessed with their cars. It's not just a mode of transportation, it's a symbol of freedom, a status symbol, and a way to express our style. Imagine not being able to drive your dream car or show off your custom accessories. It's a nightmare. But it's not just individual car ownership that would be affected. A gas shortage would disrupt supply chains, cause a ripple effect on the wider economy. We rely on gasoline to power the trucks and trains that transport goods and services across the country, as well as to fuel the planes that connect us to the rest of the world. A long-term gas shortage would result in lost jobs, reduced consumer spending, and decreased economic growth. And let's not forget about the emotional impact. The cost of gas already represents a significant part of our monthly budget. Can you imagine gas prices skyrocketing due to a scarcity? It's enough to make you feel helpless and anxious, as if you have little control over your financial situation. This can lead to a range of emotional responses, from anger and frustration to anxiety and depression. But it's not just the financial impact. The environmental consequences of our reliance on fossil fuels is also a concern. A gas shortage could cause people to turn to alternative, less sustainable sources of energy, which could lead to feelings of guilt and remorse, as we're already aware of the negative impact on the environment. The thought of a gas shortage strikes at the heart of the American psyche. It challenges the deeply ingrained cultural and social norms surrounding our love affair with cars, and the impact would be felt in every aspect of our lives. Let's hope it never happens, but if it does, we'll need to work together to find sustainable solutions and promote resilience. Tensions are rising in the Middle East and oil prices are going through the roof. Now, imagine a scenario where you pull up to your local gas station and find out that there is no gas available. Maybe there was a pipeline break, a refinery shutdown, or a surge in demand due to a holiday or natural disaster. Whatever the reason, the immediate consequence is that you can't fill up your tank and you have to find an alternative source of fuel. For some people, this may be a minor inconvenience, but for others, it can be a major disruption. But what if the shortage of gasoline is not a temporary glitch, but a long-term trend? What if the world is running out of oil, or at least the cheap and easy to extract kind? This is a question that many experts and analysts are asking as they see the global energy landscape shifting toward a new era of scarcity, volatility, and competition. The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has sent shockwaves across the world, including the United States. One of the most immediate and tangible impacts of this conflict is the rising price of oil, which could soon lead to empty gas stations across America. Russia is a major player in the global oil market, producing about 10 million barrels of oil per day, or about 10% of the world's total oil production. The current conflict, coupled with Western sanctions, has threatened to disrupt the supply, sending oil prices to their highest level in seven years. As a result, experts predict that gas prices in the United States will likely rise, leaving many Americans worried and anxious about the potential impact on their wallets. Even before Russia's incursion into Ukraine, Gas prices were already high in the United States due to increased demand and limited supply. As pandemic lockdowns lifted in 2020, demand for gas surged, driving prices up. 
Today, the average price at the pump in the United States is over $3.50 per gallon, more than 30% higher than it was just a year ago. For many Americans, this increase in gas prices is a significant source of stress and financial strain. Gasoline is a basic necessity for many people, particularly those who rely on their cars for work or transportation. A sudden increase in gas prices could mean higher expenses and tighter budgets, leading to feelings of frustration, anxiety, and helplessness. If the conflict between Ukraine and Russia continues to escalate and disrupts global oil supplies, the impact on the United States could be even more severe. Empty gas stations could become a reality, leaving many Americans without access to the fuel they need to power their cars, trucks, and other vehicles. This would not only disrupt daily life for many people but could also have wider economic consequences, leading to lost jobs, reduced consumer spending, and decreased economic growth. The oil market is no stranger to unpredictability. But there's a new kid on the block that's shaking things up. The BRICS Plus. That's right. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, plus some other rising stars, are looking to make their mark in the energy sector. These emerging economies are hungry for energy and they're not content to rely on the old guard for their supply. They're investing in alternative energy technologies diversing their sources of fuel, and challenging the traditional players in the game. This is bad news for the U.S., which has long been a dominant force in the oil market. For years, the U.S. has been able to control the prices and supplies of oil, but that control is slipping away. The BRICS Plus are flexing their muscles, and the U.S. is feeling the heat. The rise of these new players means more competition for the U.S., which could lead to higher prices and less control over the market. But it's not just about the economic impact. The rise of BRICS Plus also has geopolitical implications. These countries are expanding their influence in the global governance of energy policies, which could lead to a shift in power away from the U.S. and other traditional players. The BRICS Plus are challenging the established order, and the world is watching to see how this will play out. In the end, the emergence of BRICS Plus is just another reminder that the oil market is never static. It's always changing, always evolving, and always full of surprises. The U.S. may have been on top for a while, but it's clear that the times are changing. The question is, will the U.S. be able to adapt and thrive in this new era of competition, or will it be left behind? Only time will tell. So what does all this mean for Americans and their dependence on gasoline? Well, it means Americans must be prepared for a future where gasoline may become more expensive and less readily available. The days of cheap and abundant oil may be numbered, and it's time for Americans to think seriously about how they consume energy. One way to prepare for this future is by rethinking our reliance on personal cars. Americans can reduce their dependence on gasoline by driving less, carpooling, or using public transportation. In addition, they can consider purchasing more fuel-efficient vehicles, such as hybrid or electric cars, which are not only better for the environment, but also cheaper to operate in the long run. But individual action alone is not enough. Americans must also advocate for policies that promote energy conservation and renewable energy. This means supporting government initiatives that invest in alternative forms of energy, such as wind and solar power, and that provide incentives for the adoption of green technologies. It also means working towards international cooperation on energy security, as the global energy market becomes more interconnected and interdependent. At the same time, they need to be aware of the risks and opportunities that come with the changing energy landscape. They need to follow the news and analysis of global energy markets, such as the price of oil, the supply and demand trends, and the geopolitical tensions that affect energy policies. They also need to learn from the experiences of others. Let's learn from the past and remember that hoarding toilet paper in the beginning of the pandemic was unnecessary, and there should be no cause for hoarding gasoline now.